everybody. This is Josiah Hodgett here at Shell Lake Schools with a quick tech tip. Today we're going to be looking at the Google built-in research tool in Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Drawings. This tool is built right into these documents. You don't have to jump into a new tab or a different browser to start doing your research. Right as you're working on your projects, you can go right in and do some research. You'll find that research tool under Tools, which is a menu item, and then Research. So Tools, Research. That's going to pop up a research box on the right side. So you can go ahead and do a full Google search right there. You can also search by clicking on this drop-down box, filtering it for just images. Just Google Scholar looks specifically for quotes. Look something up in the dictionary, which is very helpful, and then also look stuff up in tables. So we're going to do a search for everything. Another way you can get to that search is by going over here. I'm just going to type something here. If I type something out and then highlight it and right click on it, you'll see that I can get to the research tool right here. So that's going to drop this over here. Now the results that show up are similar to a Google search results. We have some images of Abe Lincoln. We have some facts about Abe Lincoln. Little Wikipedia article there. And then we have the web results. So you can see the web results. The nice thing about doing this research built right in with web results is included is I could go ahead and cite uh, this presidential library link right here into my paper. So I can first preview it, say, okay, yep, that is something I want. Maybe go look a little deeper and find something. Let's say I pull a quote off of here. Then I can go back in and I can type some words. So it was a president, that's my fact. I fact checked that out of the presidential library and now I wanna cite this page. So my cursor is right over here by my fact. This is the page I've referenced that from. If I hit cite, it now puts a footnote there and puts the full MLA citation right here. So very convenient, very quick for doing your research and pulling that in. Another way you can use this is, uh, one thing I like to do with Google Slides is treat the slide deck like my index cards. Uh, back in my days in college, you used to have index cards and these little index card boxes. You can do that with your research right here in Google Slides. So let's say I go to Tools and do Research. I can start finding some Abe Lincoln facts. And so this is going to be my slide about Abe Lincoln pre-government. Hmm, involvement. So I can just fill this text box here up with facts that I find about Abe Lincoln's pre-government involvement. So have your different slides sorted by topic just as a tool for gathering uh, your bibliography, your the extent of your research. And then using this tool in Google Drawings, again tools, research, is a really easy way to find images. So I'm going to go ahead and set the filter to images hit this drop down box. You're going to want to do this too, to make sure that you only use images that are free to use, share or modify, even if you use them commercially. That'll do an image search for images that you don't need someone's explicit permission to use. You will still need to cite those images. So here's a nice picture of Abe Lincoln. Someone modified it up. Not sure what the text says behind it, but you can just simply drag and drop. So very simple to use, um, pulling in images to Google Drawings using the built-in search tool, not just, you know, facts and quotes and that sort of thing. So again, that tool is built in. You can find it in Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Drawings, and it really speeds up the process of working with information and pulling it into whatever you happen to be working on. Good luck.